Oh, hi everyone, uh, shelf 20 now coming up. Um, just the sort of the penultimate shelf, this one. Um, double use and V's and things like that on this one. Um, yeah, it's, see what we've got anyway. Hi everyone, uh, shelf 20 coming up now. Uh, just one from the end, that's all the collection will be done. But uh, start with this one um, first. It is an Australian one. I think it's from the 70s, late 70s, I think it was. But uh, yeah, it was okay, it was decent, a decent film. And there's. Um, Three Extremes, uh, Asian sort of uh, anthology one, um, really really good that one, um, Dumplings, I've got the full length version of Dumplings, I made a full length version of uh, there's also one called Cut, which is by um, Park, Chan uh, Park Chanwook and Box, um, which I think was um, the Takashi Mika's one, but yeah it was really really good anthology that one. There's Ticks. Uh, which I also love this. I uh, love this movie when I was younger. I saw so this on VHS. Uh, had to buy it again when I saw it. Uh, really, really good sort of um, not killer bug movie like Ticks. Ticks get to like massive um, proportions, you know. And um, the lot I think they're on like an outward bound sort of type sort of holiday thing. There's like underprivileged kids and that, and uh, kids with problems. They go on this sort of outdoor adventure thing and come across these massive ticks. Uh, really, 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 really decent effects as well and. It's like the mother of all ticks at the end of the film, that really, really massive huge one. Yeah, it was decent. It's a bit, bit cheesy in parts, but really good. To Become One. Um, yeah, I've not watched this one yet. I don't know anything about it. Um, didn't look that good from the trailer, but we'll see. Tokyo Gore School. Uh, nothing to do with Tokyo Gore, please, at all. Uh, not watched this. It's probably a little more like a drama than a proper horror, but you know, I'll check it out. Tokyo Zombie. A really, really funny sort of comedy horror. Uh, they say they like Japanese uh, answer to Dawn uh, to um, Shaun of the Dead, and yeah, it was funny. It was really good. Um, I did laugh out loud at a couple of bits. Uh, these two characters, like the main two characters, really really funny. Um, he gets bit by a zombie, and um, he actually thinks that like he's going to become a zombie. He starts acting like a zombie, even though he's not actually a bit. And uh, there's a really good funny scene, sort of in, towards the end, involving that. But uh, you know, decent decent watch that one. I really liked it. Uh, told me, which is a really, really strange sort of um, sort of uh, Asian, I think Japanese horror based on a manga. Really strange, but good. Told me replay, which is the second one, which is the one that's probably right out and out horror. That one, that was a really, really good one. I watched that one. That was really good. Great, great one. That. And uh, there's um, Told Me Forbidden Fruit. I think that was the fourth one. Um, that one was okay. No, it wasn't great. I did prefer the early ones, but it was still decent, still worth watching. Killbox Murders, uh, which is the original, I think, 1978 one. Um, it, it was decent. This one's quite heavily cut, but I thought it was a decent slasher film, that. And the, the remake of the Toolbox Murders, uh, the Toby Hooper one, another one the Slipcase again. Um, it's sort of the same one again, but a uh, decent two-disc edition, that from Anchor Bay. That was an okay one, not a bad film. Uh, the Toxic Avenger. That's the uh, director's cut. This is uh, this is the imported one. I think I got it from uh, from Denmark. Actually, I ordered it from Denmark. It took a few days to come, but uh, you know it was decent. Really, really good version. Now it's got the head crushing scene and that in it as well, which is uh, the main reason I bought it. All the UK ones have got that cut out of it, but uh, uh, this is the the uncut Danish one. Really good. Toxic Avenger Part Two. It is uh, you know not that good really. It was it was okay. I still enjoy watching it. It's still very cheesy and. That's indeed one or two decent bits of gore in it, but it wasn't nowhere near as good as the first. Uh, Toxic Ranger Part 3. It's probably the worst of the series, that one. Um, it was funny, it was watchable, but it was probably the weakest of the three. Um, I haven't got number four yet, I'm dying to get it though. I have seen number four, but I haven't got it. Um, there's Trailer Park of Terror. I enjoyed it actually, I thought it was, that was decent. Um, it's like a sort of set in a trailer park and that, and it's like it's like a like a vampires and zombies and stuff. And it's, you know, it's decent. It was okay, based on a comic book or something. It is. Tremors, uh, you know, good, decent, fun, like sort of a uh, homage to fifties monster flicks, real like that. Tremors two, aftershocks, uh, not as good as the first, but still decent. And then there's Tremors three, back to perfection. Uh, that was that was okay as well, you know. They've got a bit weaker as the progress that series, but they're all all three of them, you know, the decent watches. Triangle. Um, this is one I had recently in updates, so I did mention a bit about that in there. Uh, Trick or Treat. Uh, really, really great anthology. One of the best anthologies I think of recent years. Uh, this character is like brilliant. So this little, um, well, he's like basically like uh, I can't remember what it's called now. He's got a uh, what was his name? with The little character. I'm not sure if it tells you on the back. No, I'm not sure. 
No, but he's a really good case though. I did like that, and um, that was a good, good storage in that. So, uh, trick or treat, uh, the the eighties one. Uh, the one with Ozzy Osbourne and um, Gene Simmons is in it. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's got quite a small role in it though, it's more of a cameo. But, you know, it's a really, really good, this really, really great heavy metal horror film. The Tripper, uh, David Arquette sort of directed it and starred in it, not watched it yet. Uh, Troll Hunter, brilliant film this. Um, almost done in like a documentary style, uh, really, really good. Um, got the slip case with it. Uh, looks the same, it's got like a good sort of 3D lenticular cover on it as well. A great, great movie that really like that. That's coming quite, you know, Norwegian horror is coming back to the forefront again now. I think there's been some really good Norwegian films recently. Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Uh, more comedy than horror, but uh, really good. These two guys um, get accused of kidnapping this girl. Um, these are, they're like the friends that are with the girl, sort of uh, trying to cap, you know, trying to rescue her. And all they've done is rescued her, and uh, they think they're trying, now trying to kill her and that, and they're trying to stop him. It's, uh, yeah, really good. I liked it. Uh, Twilight Zone the movie, oh, I used to love this as a kid, this film, I used to watch this quite a lot, uh, really enjoyed it, another really good anthology, um, you know, 12 rated now, which is uh, you know, quite low, it's, uh, I thought it would have been still a 15 really, but, you know, John Lithgow was in it as well, you know, I really liked his story, on that when he was uh, seeing the creature on the wing of the plane, that was a great, great, you know, great section there, all in all, you know, really, really good anthology. Two Evil Eyes, sort of like an anthology, it's got two stories in it. Uh, one by George Romero, uh, one by Argento, Dario Argento. Uh, the Argento one was the best of the two stories. It was decent though. Uh, the Unborn, you know, fairly recent film. Uh, like a typical ghost one, yeah, not bad. Uh, the Uncanny. This is one that never really gets mentioned much. It's um, I don't know if it's Amicus who did it, was it or something like that? I'm not sure if it was Amicus or it was one of them type of sort of companies. Um, Peter Cushing's in it. It's basically like um, all three like sort of to do with cats. Like stories to do with cats and that. He, he thinks that like cats are um, sort of like the spawn of Satan, as he says, and uh, it sort of tells you these three stories about why cats are evil. Uh, but you know, it was, it was a good film. I really liked it. Uh, the Undead. That's a great, great comedy horror. That that's worth checking out. Uh, only fifteen rated, but some right, really good gore scenes in that. So you know, decent. It's a bit more tongue in cheek as well. So the Undead. This is a pair pick up. Uh, not picked it up. So it's be pretty gory though. But. Unhinged, which was an old video nasty. Uh, I did have this on um, VHS as well. It's the same cover as if the VHS had. But um, yeah, this was um, you know not particularly graphic for a nasty, but there was some you know some decent kills like a slasher film, decent. Underworld. That's not the um, the recent vampire one. This is like the Clive Barker one. I think it was from the um, sort of mid mid to late eighties. This come out. Yeah, it was a bit slow. There's some decent makeup effects in it all. Uh, there's the Underworld, the one with the Kate Beckinsale. I uh, went to this at the cinema actually, I really enjoyed this, it was a great, great, great film. Uh, Underworld Evolution, the second one, uh, another decent one that. And Lo Rise of the Lycans, the third one, uh, that's really, really good as well. I think they made a fourth as well, but I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, the Unholy, this is a great, great one from the 80s. Um, might have even been, yeah, I think it was 1989, I think it was, not 100%, but uh, yeah. But uh, really, really good, Ben Cross is... Um, like a priest in this new sort of church, uh, there's like all ritual killings and things in it and that. Yeah. There's a couple of good gore scenes in it and um, no, decent performances and that. This is not the fully uncut one though, there is like an uncut one released uh, in the UK as well. I picked it up quite cheap though. So. Um, this one's uh, The Untold Story, I think it's also called Bun Man or something. Um, I don't think this is available at all in the UK, uh, I've never seen it um, released in the UK at all, Category 3 one. Uh, it's pretty violent, you know, and um, very, very gritty. Uh, there's a few like shocking scenes in it as well. But, you know, w worth picking up. I mean, uh, I think a guy, um, was it Anthony Wong, I think his name, he won, like, the equivalent of, like, um, the Chinese Academy Award for his performance in this. He's, re re he's really, really good in it. Urban Legends, uh, you know, typical slasher. It was okay, I wasn't a big fan of them ones. Uh, VHS, you know, brilliant anthology. I had this on an update recently. Really, really love it. Vacancy, which was really good. I'm surprised how good this was. Um, yeah, it was really good. So like people making snuff movies. These two, this couple here, they're going through like a messy sort of passage. I think they're going for a divorce, or something, and uh, the breakdown stop at this motel and making film, making like snuff films there, the stalking and that. Decent film. I really like that. Vacancy two. Uh, not watched that one yet. Can't be as good as the first. I shouldn't imagine that. Vamp, uh, the classic eighties like vampire sort of comedy one. Decent. Really good. 
uh, Hammer's Vampire Circus. Uh, one of the better, I think, of the Light Hammer films. I really, really like that one. Uh, Suey Hark's Vampire Hunters. Um, sort of like sort of a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon with vampires almost. Uh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I saw the trailer look really good. It, it did drag on a bit, you know, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Vampire in Brooklyn, the West Craven one with Eddie Murphy. Uh, yeah, it was okay. I'm not a big fan of that film, but it's watchable. Uh, Vampire Resurrection. I've uh, not watched this yet. Picked it up from a charity shop recently, like a pound or something. Not watched it. Uh, Vampire Sisters, the Brain Damage Films one. Um, you know, they're usually really badly acted and over the top gore and things like these. I've not watched this one. So. Uh, the Vampire Lovers. Uh, another really, really good Hammer one. Really like this one as well. Ingrid Pitt was in it. Excellent film like that. John Carpenter's Vampires. Uh, this is surprisingly really good. Um, not many people mention, you know, mention this film much, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's good performances and that. Got uh, some good gore in it. I really like that bit where they, um, that, that head vampire sort of follows them to where they're all staying and slaughters them all. That was a really, really good scene as well. You know, overall, decent John Carpenter film there. Vampires vs. Zombies, uh, like low budget indie one. You know, very, very gory, but um, quite poorly acted in that. Uh, just wanted to pick this up, um, paid quite a bit for this. Uh, I think this was about £15 I paid. Uh, really, really rare, supposedly, Visions of Suffering. This is like um, a Russian film, Russian independent film. Some really, really bizarre, like, dreamlike sequences in this. Um, you know, not particularly gory or anything like that, but really incredibly surreal. Really, really haunting imagery in it. It is very low budget, though. Uh, Voodoo Academy, uh, another one I picked up for like a uh, like pen from a charity shop, not watched it yet. Don't think, don't think it's supposed to be that great anyway. Uh, Van Helsing, I really enjoyed this actually for like sort of a, like a Hollywood film. It's uh, one of the better of the sort of like, Hollywood horrors I find. There's some decent effects in it. Uh, you know, good, uh, no, not bad forms. It's Hugh Jackman didn't play, you know, he played that pretty well, not too bad in that. Uh, I think Kate Beckinsale was in it as well. You know, decent, I did like that one, that was decent. Uh, the Vatican Exorcisms. Um, I don't think I've watched it, I think it's another one I've picked up and I've not watched yet. Uh, Vault of Horror, which is the one from I think 1973, the one with Terry Thomas and that. Uh, I think the one where his wife kills him with a hammer or something, that's sort of the famous, most famous sort of scene in the film. This is the uncut version, a brilliant, brilliant anthology from the 70s, that. Venom, uh, not watched this yet, so I'm setting up the Louisiana Swamp, some of these like, strange like swamp creature after me, I've not watched it, I haven't seen any good. Versus, a really, really stylish sort of um, like sort of action horror. Uh, sort of, I've taken this like forest for a minute with all these. It's like loads of martial arts and gunplay and everything. And, uh, you know, good action packed sort of zombie film. Like, like zombies and vampires and things like that. Uh, it's The Village. Um, yeah, that was okay, but um, you know, it was a bit slow. It, it's slow in parts and stuff. And uh, yeah, it, it was alright, it's passable. The Vineyard. I used to have on VHS. Uh, sort of a bit of a guilty pleasure. I do really like this film. Yeah, I thought it was really decent, not bad at all. A virus, so I'm with Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland. Uh, really like this, there's some really good effects in it as well. Great movie, that. Uh, Wakewood, which is like a Hammer film, you know, the recent Hammer film sort of re, um, re-brought out Hammer, didn't they, again, and uh, started doing films again. I think this is one of the first, you know, of the new Hammer films. Um, you know, it was okay, some good performances in it. Timothy Spall was really good in it. Walled In. A uh, good lenticular case, as you can see that at all, but it's like um, the soldiers are getting like sort of full of concrete, like up to a neck and that. But um, yeah, I really like this. I bought this. I wouldn't usually have bought this if I hadn't seen it, but um, I watched it on Love Film, really liked it. Thought, well, if I see that cheap, I'll pick it up. I managed to pick it up quite cheap, but yeah, it was decent. I thought it was okay, that. War Wolves, uh, not watched it yet, pick up from Poundland. So. Watchers. Which um, I saw before, I had on VHS years ago. I haven't watched this um, release of it. I don't know if there's anything different. From what I remember, it, you know, it was a decent film. Uh, Wax Mask, which is like an Italian version of um, the sort of mi- uh, mystery of the Wax Museum sort of type film. Uh, you know, quite a bit of bloodletting in this one. That yeah, was decent. Oh, I did enjoy it. It was good. Pretty stylish as well. Waxwork, another great, great one from the eighties. I think it was nineteen eighty six or something like that. Um, yeah, a bit of a guilty pleasure. I really like this one. Um, uh, sort of Zach Galligan at Gremlins is in it. Uh, it's really good. I like that. Good, good cheesy film as well. Like loads of sort of decent effects and that in it. Uh, Welcome to the Jungle. 
Supposedly it's like a remake of Cannibal Holocaust. It's only 15 right itself. There's no way it'll be as graphic. I've not watched it, but uh, no, I've seen Cannibal Holocaust. That was pretty brutal. I've not watched that one, though. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Uh, this one was okay, you know. It was, um, I think it was better than Part 6. You know, I'd seen Part 6 before. I don't own Part 6, but I have seen Part 6. But uh, this was okay. I'm not bad. When Evil Calls. Uh, she's like, um, you know, basically it's like a little... Um, well, the story behind that, there's made like little mini movies for mobile phones, and it's basically this. It was in like so many parts, uh, so just put them all together and um, yeah, put it on a DVD. It was okay for what it was. It, you know, it wasn't um, a particularly long film, like an hour, an hour and ten minutes, something like that. It was okay though. Uh, Whisper, uh, yeah, this was okay. It's sort of a, similar to the Omen a little bit. Um, so sort of these guys kidnap this kid, and um, you know they're holding for ransom. It's like a rich family have got him. Uh, and the kid's got some sort of like you know strange powers, but um, but it's all like a setup. But it's all again, it's all a setup, and which is really good. I like it. Whispering corridors. Uh, it's like a, I think a Japanese one. Not watched it yet, but it's possibly really creepy. That uh, white noise. That's that's pretty good. Michael Keaton one. Uh, but I think he um, gets messages from his dead wife or something, or, um, saying she's like she's being like. Um, I you know, warn him about sort of ghosts coming through. I can't remember that much about it. I remember liking it though. Uh, White Noise, The Light. Uh, yeah, I've seen these, but I don't really remember much about that. I think it was uh, you know, fairly average. Uh, White Zombie, the uh, a classic one that um, I think it was 19, 1943, I think it might have been. Not 1933, I think it was actually. But yeah, really, really old sort of. Uh, I think it was Bella Lugosi in it. Decent film that. Uh, the Wicker Man, that's the original one from the 70s. Uh, brilliant, brilliant film, this. It's a good, good extra on this as well. It's got the uh, it's got the original theatrical version on it and the director's cut. Both, both versions are on it. A really, really good film, that great movie. Uh, the Wicker Man remake, which I have, um, I've yet to watch yet, because I, I do really, really like the original, but um, I've not watched this one. A lot of people have really hated this film. The trailer looks, you know, looks okay, like the trailer, but... Wilderness, uh, it's like another, I think another British one. Uh, that was decent. Uh, they take these sort of um, you know, troubled kids on like um, like a military type sort of sort of weekend. Uh, there's like a killer there killing him off with a crossbow. You know, it was it was it was okay, it wasn't bad at all. Willard, which is the uh, I think it's like a remake. Uh, this one's got Crispin Glover in it. Crispin Glover was really really good in this. He played it brilliantly. Um, I couldn't imagine anyone else playing it as well as him. It was. Uh, I think he made the film. The film was. Decent, but I think um, you now Crispin Glover's sort of a uh, performance in that sort of pushed it above decent. I think it, he made the film a really, really good performance here. Windchill, a uh, decent ghost story. I think uh, George Clooney produced it. Not not bad, you know. It was okay. Uh, the Wisher, um, no, no, that was okay. And no, that wasn't a great film. Run of the mill stuff. Uh, Wes Craven's Wishmaster, uh, that's really good. That one, really, really great film. Um, I think got a cinema release in the UK. I don't think it did that well in the cinema, but uh, you know, decent film. Anyway, that's um, shelf twenty. Just uh, one more shelf to go. That's the collection over with. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers and everything. Uh, see you again in the next video. Thank you.